if it ain't purebred, it ain't right. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> what? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Joel. Name. It don't impress me much. <laughs> Your butt don't impress men as much. Yep. <laughs> so Greg, not one of his random thoughts. Mm. We were sitting around. I think it was a meeting last week. Mm-hmm. He goes, you know what doesn't impress me? <laughs> I forget. Somebody in the room was talking about uh, something. Right. And they were impressed by it. Yeah. And like, oh. And then Greg's mm. like, you know, you know what? Like, what? What doesn't impress I'm me? And I thought it was so it. random and it's, it's just out of it, left field. It's totally random. If, if somebody <laughs> says, I own a food truck, I think, oh, who can't own a food truck? <laughs> well, okay, neat. You, you bought a vehicle. You didn't get a liquor license. You don't uh-huh. have to deal with, you know, rental of a brick and mortar shop. You got a food truck. Okay. You still got to get cool. a permit. Yeah, you know how I mean, you need to know right. how to it's a food. Health, it's a health permit, Greg. It's real tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, know I know how I'm tough probably going to wow. make a couple enemies here, but if somebody <laughs> says to me, oh, yeah, I own a food truck, I'm, cool. cool. <laughs> like, it just doesn't impress me. It, the, the same way it doesn't impress me if somebody knows the owner of a restaurant. Oh, same. Oh, have you been to the so-and-so restaurant? Oh, I know the owner. Neat. You walked yeah. in and had a conversation. Right. right. Oh, cool. You know the owner of a restaurant. Yeah. You know how many restaurants there are in the world? <laughs> like, oh, oh, wow. God. There's Take a lot of owners. Bag. And well. Gre- Greg, I'll, I'll piggyback on your food truck thing. Food trucks, man. I know that was, the, you know, it, it exploded on the scene. What was it? Late 2000s or yeah. so. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah. we've got to go get food from a food truck. Right. Food trucks in general don't impress me much. It's, it it, it, takes it so seems long. like it's gone downhill. It you know, takes forever. It takes forever. Yeah. Expensive mm-hmm. as hell. It's like yes. any other kind of food restaurant or any other food source, right? Yeah. Like, there yeah. are good ones. There are bad ones. I've had some really good food trucks. I've had other ones where they're terrible. Yes, they all seem to take forever. It's right. inconvenient because yes. there's no there's no water. Like, how do I wash my hands? Yeah. Uh, tr- where do I put the trash? There's nowhere to sit. <laughs> yeah, where's the, the toilet? toilet? Well, sometimes they put little crappy tables out, Gina, but, <laughs> oh, yeah. but those are taken, of course. Yeah. But don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stop going. Yeah, right. I love a good food truck, will, especially yeah. at a festival. They're great. 100%. They're, they're I just wish great. they were no, more. Not great. No, not at a festival. Uh, the lines are so yeah. long. The lines yeah. are long and they're expensive. That's they they oh. take forever. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I've had good experiences. There was about 10 years ago an explosion of these events where it was like they're showing a movie and there'd be like a food truck cinema kind of yep. thing. Yes. And in concept, it sounds really cool. Sounds perfect. Right? But in reality, it's just a nightmare. Yeah. And mm. I'm not saying I don't like food trucks. I like hamburgers, but I think they're kind of easy to make. So if somebody says, <laughs> oh, I make a really yeah. good burger, eh, I think a seven-year-old can make a good burger. Yeah. Really, I don't, I don't, you know? I don't find that. Like, it, it, there's a difference between like a really, all burgers, it's like pizza. Exactly. Yeah. You get like pizza, they, there's some really good pizza. burger and thought, mm-hmm. oh, this is gross. Right, but you've so had a really good have, burger I and you're like, course. wow. You know the difference. You do. Sure. But I do like them all. Right. But I'm just saying, uh, back to it doesn't impress yeah. me. Like, but you've never yeah. had I, my burger. I like a food truck. I like the concept of a food truck. But it doesn't impress me if you own one. I'm yeah. So I, <laughs> hey, Greg, uh, I have a friend who owns a food truck. How much does that not impress you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I know the owner of a food truck. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is where it's nice to own, uh, know the owner or somebody like the maitre d' or whoever right. works there. If it's a really hot place. That like the wait is forever, or you, yeah. it's hard to get a reservation. Uh, I got an uh, answer for that. Don't go. No, I'm saying then when you know the person, you can get in whenever you want. Then uh, that you bypasses the that whole and thing. Then it looks yeah. cool. Yeah. Not, not even look cool. It's just like it's nice because you can go. That is a yeah. benefit. It's other definitely than, a benefit. Other than that, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You can go to the back of the food truck yeah. and get your food. <laughs> I always feel sad for the workers. Like you have to sit in that little box all day. It's, it's hot. A billion degrees. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, speaking of places to eat, I saw a really funny thing on uh, social media the other day, and it, I, it's so true. I think all the I'm, th- I'm thinking back to like the best Chinese food restaurants I've ever been to. Yeah, my yeah. favorite ones. There's always a kid sitting in the front of the store doing his homework. Oh yeah, like the that's a sign. Business. Like when they say, "What's a sign that you know the place is gonna be really good?" Okay. That's good, right? That's really good. And I, I saw that. I laughed. And I go, "Wait a minute! I'm th- I'm thinking of a couple places in particular that." Every time it's the owner's kids, school age kids, they're in there and they're sitting in one of the tables in the front of the restaurant yep. as you're in there to go pick up and they're doing homework at the table. I'm like, this place is going to be dope. <laughs> <laughs> That's so it good. shows that they care about a lot of things. Well, no, I, I don't know what it is. It's like, uh, I, I know it's going to be good if you go into a place, like a little rusty, uh, what do they call it? Not rusty spoon, like um, right. yeah, greasy trombone. spoon. Greasy spoon. Greasy spoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> rusty <laughs> trombone. Right. <laughs> Very, That's very a very different, different thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the two. <laughs> but no, like a greasy spoon, like you go to the place and they have these old menu boards yeah. that have like the letters that push into the, oh, yeah. into the little yeah, tracks. Yeah, yeah. Yep. The food's going to be awesome. Yeah. 
and it's been that way forever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Like that's a sign the place is going to be really good. And as random as the kid doing homework in front, I think a diner that has you know those weird lava rock walls. Like oh a, yeah, like, yeah, like a chimney, but they're total seventies looking. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not like slate or right. super granite. throwback. Yeah, if it has one of those walls on it, it's going to be mm. good. And they've stood yeah. the True. test of time. Yeah, because yeah. it's old timey. Yeah, yeah, there was another meme floating around just recently where it's like. Um, it's those hanging lights and then the certain bar stools. And then if it has a chalkboard, you oh, know, you're going to have the most mid burger yeah. ever. <laughs> the, the most mid $40 yeah. burger. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because it has a chalkboard. Yeah. Well, that's metal, modern, metal bar stools. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. yeah. And, and speaking of that, <laughs> With a little slot in the top, it looks like yeah, a ballot sure. box. Yeah. It's almost exactly. like a piggy bank. Oh, yeah. your back is killing. And speaking of that, um, <laughs> I totally forgot what I was going to say. Well, cool, oh, man. <laughs> All right. Wow, you're settling in nice. Oh, well, I you're got just it, like I got the rest it. of us. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. I got it. I got it. Because anyone, you're a bartender. You're not a mixologist. Oh. I'm not impressed with a mixologist. How about this? Nobody's oh. a mixologist. It's a word that was made up out of nowhere 15 years ago. There yeah. you go. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed by bartenders, though. Yeah. I will be honest. But you don't have to be impressed by a mixologist. Okay, but I am impressed with bartenders. They yeah. know how to make, you just say the name of a drink, they know how to make it. Yeah, that's, that's impressive pretty enough. Pretty awesome. You don't need a new name. Going back to um, Greg's initial point of like I'm not impressed. Yeah. That doesn't really impress me. The people that go around talking about how they don't own a TV, like that's been for oh, decades. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. think they're lying. I don't well, watch TV. They yeah. watch everything on their computer mm-hmm. and they don't tell you that. Or their yeah, where, phone. But they say yeah. they don't even own a TV. Oh. Like there's not even one in their house. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Right. I knew a girl Water. who was too poor to have a TV. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I get that's it if you're cool. too poor, but the yeah. people that think they're above it. That's going to be really cool in your yeah. come up story. <laughs> I didn't even have a TV. Yeah, we didn't even have a TV. <laughs> I don't think any of you do this, and it's so obnoxious. I'm glad you don't. I'm not impressed by how many cups of coffee you drink in a day. Right. Dude, I drink like mm. three pots. Like, congratulations. You're well, psychotic. Yeah. Well, I'm that not, goes I'm with to day, beer, man. too, from the beginning yes. of time where it's like, oh, I drank 30 beers and I didn't get wasted. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, that's what college people do. Okay. When they You're put, functioning put alcoholic. That's a problem, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's something that people constantly brag about that doesn't impress you? 877-44 Woody. Let's see what you got on the uh, on the phones and on the text. <laughs> text us over to 22987. What are your thoughts on food <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Well, the other thing, because the uh, the line is never like long, or like the wait is never long. I should say mm. when it's a taco truck. That's, that's true. That yeah. stuff is so it's fast. Out, yeah. yeah. It's when you start getting into all the the, the lobster the, truck and the yeah. all the yeah. other the like novelty. I love the lobster right. truck. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. everybody does. That's why the line's so long. Uh, yeah. But like that stuff's not quick turnaround stuff. No. Right. I, I doubt. Yeah. And Sammy's probably not paying for these things too, which is why she's in love with them. Because you want to pay uh, literally twenty five dollars for a lobster roll. Well, no, uh, I. I don't pay for it, exactly. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do love a good lobster right. cut. Like yeah. Especially a free one. <laughs> Another random conversation. Uh, Greg was talking about going into, uh, what store did you go into? With? You said Corey Feldman goes to your- Oh, uh, my yeah. Ralph's. Oh, your Ralph's. Yeah. yeah. I love Corey. For the and, second time. Yeah, and then somehow the uh, Olsen twins came up. Let's get your quick opinion on this. There's a fight going on <laughs> yeah. here in the studio. And I'm with my wife on this. My wife thinks they have grown up to be hideous looking yeah, people. Yeah, but that's not... That wasn't even the argument, the discussion, though. yeah. It's what they looked like when they were kids playing Michelle on Full House, which is yeah. adorable. No. Absolutely mm-hmm. adorable. Yeah, I no. think they were good looking kids. No. Nothing Do you remember when they that. were like babies? Yeah. You were, you're okay with that? Frog trolls. Yes. They they were adorable children. Yeah, there was They were cuter them. kids, I'm but they yeah. grew up yeah. to be no. rat-faced yeah, but girls. We're talking about when they were kids... No, when they were kids, they no, were I'm with weird Greg. looking. Bug no, eyed. no, they look like the, uh, those little trolls. No, they troll had doll. So many of their own movies, so many so things. They're adorable in all of Steve them. Steve Buscemi's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, what does that mean? How I think dare you're... you compare Mary Kate and Ashley to Steve Buscemi? Steve That's... I think it's fair. Everyone in this room's insane. I'm looking you at have the multiple eye pictures. I'm on your side, Sam. I know. Thank you, Menace. I mean, just because they grew up to look like a pizza that was too hot that you kind of kept <laughs> Again, that's off, not the argument. Center. No, we're yeah, talking we're not about talking kids. about I'm what looking they grew at, up. We're talking about them. Mm-mm. I'm looking at their children. children's promo pictures, and I don't see what you see. Not at all. You don't think they're just the most adorable little oh. twins no. ever? No. Hold on. That's Hold on. Crazy. Question. What's something that people constantly brag about that doesn't impress you? I feel like for me, the, one of the things, there's a number of things. But like one of the things is when people 
constantly remind you about whatever their ethnicity is. Oh like, yeah, we get it. As like, the a people, something woman, yeah, or they get the little, like the you know, the Italian flags on everything. Or right. The, you know, whatever. <laughs> See that like, on dating oh, yeah. dating sites a lot or dating apps, I should say. Yeah. It's like okay, cool. Yeah, we get it. We love <laughs> yeah. Africa. Like we cool. Like <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Right, like yeah. I'm talking. This yeah. not like this is not toward one group of doesn't people. Doesn't matter which one. It's the people who are like oh Irish. There's a lot of Irish people I know. They're like oh god damn it, we get it, dude. Yeah. Mm. And then sometimes there's the flags on the side of the car, which I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I brought this up before, but when you go on a cruise and people have different colored lanyards for how many cruises they've taken. Oh, right. Yeah. I've oh, sailed I am. 14 times. I'm like, okay. oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that much free time. Yeah, that's cool. That rules. Yeah. I, I would say, um, I know this is going to sound weird, but like, I'm not impressed by millionaires. I am impressed by billionaires. You yeah. know, I have been around a couple billionaires and it's just like, it's just so weird on well, how the just the level of a, a billionaire like now it depends. Yeah. Someone's got a million dollars, but yeah, if someone has got it, fifty million dollars yeah, or a hundred million dollars, right? Dude, that's different. Yeah, so what's the it, threshold? That's incredible. A billion? So yeah, you can like have nine hundred million dollars or six hundred I mean, million dollars. Yeah, if you're dollars. close to a billion, yeah, you're you're pretty much just four hundred million dollars. You're still not there yet. I am, but then you meet a billionaire. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know, it's just like it, it, north of four hundred million. It's all the same to me. It, exactly. Yeah. 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 Menace. yeah well, I no, just, I, I like, I'm just trying to understand the. Yeah, I, but you're right. You're right. Like if someone's like they have a million dollars. Yeah. You know, it's like you it's can't not, buy a house in most places. It's not what uh, it used to be. Sure. No, you know. No. But I'm I'm impressed by it. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't understand too when you have pro athletes who move to a different state because they're going to make fifty two million here. Right. They're making fifty million. What's the difference? Yeah, right. exactly. Uh, so what's something that people constantly brag about that doesn't impress you at all? 877-44. Woody, that's 877-44. Woody. That don't impress me much. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Menace, is that, are you going to her residency, uh, Shania Twain? I would. I have not been. That's, that's, that's a menace. That's a menace concert. I would totally go to it. <laughs> Let's go, girls. <laughs> yeah. do, 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 I've do, been do. to all that stuff. A lot of people on the text <laughs> saying, uh, the people who claim about, oh, I've never taken a sick day or a vacation day. Oh, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> that's, that's you get cool. nothing for that. Well, that's brothers. related to the, I, I uh-huh. work uh, 18 hours a day. Oh, it's so a lot of hard. that. I might, I might, yeah. We may have worked with a guy who was like that 10 years ago. Hopefully, uh, Thankfully, he's changed. There's a lot of uh, that on the text. Uh, well, we'll get to it. I, I, I've, uh, I've tagged a lot of these texts. You know, I work 12 hours a day. Okay, cool. You work, you, you're, bra- you're beating your head against the wall. Right. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a weird flex when a couple tells me they have never really spent more than a few hours apart from each other. That's not a good thing. Codependent much? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. That sounds great to me. <laughs> Someone says, uh, when, when they start with, in high school I was, I don't uh, care. Oh, yeah. Reminiscing <laughs> about being a Isn't sports that, god mm, in high school. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has that one high school person who, it's like you peaked in high school. Like yeah. Al Bundy. Uh, 505 says, I'm not impressed with people who lift their trucks or add all the extra lights, uh, mud agreed. tires, snorkels. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> No, yeah, the snorkel. The snorkel. Oh yeah, yeah. But, but for like jeeps and stuff, yeah. But can you like say I think it looks cool at least? Or sure, you can yeah. say you I'm can. not impressed. By it depends. It. As if it's gonna be something that you're driving to the grocery store if in, it's clownishly uh, lifted. I saw this really oh, yeah. funny video. It was a. Uh, oh man, I can't remember the name. It was one of the SUVs, but on the back of it, it had the ladder. <laughs> Oh, it's like, uh, hey guys, yeah. just in case I ever need a ladder, yeah. and this person's just ridiculing yeah. the crap out of this I person. Like those. Like, they do that a lot with the um, Ooh, Range Rovers. I like, like that online, lot. they make fun of them. Oh, I have a ladder. I wish like, I had that. Walmart crawlers. What do you got to do? Crawl on the roof of your <laughs> car? Yeah, to like load the stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. What? Your 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 four months of supplies? Yes. Yeah. yeah. If I'm, yeah. What if I'm are you going? Prepping? What if Gina and I are off to the desert? That's true. For and we have to load our sleeping bags and our. We'll you know, need a ladder. A couple fun. more. We would need the ladder. Yeah. Car ones off the text. I am not impressed by these dudes with their wannabe race cars that are extremely loud and obnoxious Thank for no you. reason. Yeah. Yeah. Thank not you. Join the club. Uh, gas mileage on a long trip or really any time, honestly, people that brag about their, well, hey, man, got some really good gas mileage. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> that's a dad brag. That's Yeah, a, it's a dad brag for a Han- sure. Hank Hill sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Oh, I here's like, one. I uh, like that. <laughs> from the 818 says, being a member of Mensa or pooping in the shower. Oh, oh yeah. well, there's only one person who's good enough to be both of those things, and that, hmm. that, I mean, that I'm person good enough. Is good I'm just enough. making a yeah. choice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good oh. enough to poop? <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, Mensa Schmensa. Yeah, she's got the Mensa membership. I, I, I'm curious about that again, but we'll get we'll get into that. Please. Later. 
Well, yeah, because there's said, just no way she could. That's yeah. right. Well, because she said like your therapist recommended you for it. No. And then you took like a... My therapist recommended me. <laughs> no, I took, <laughs> I took the test with a psychologist. It was three hours. Oh, but it's a weird thing for a psychologist to administer. Out of they nowhere. can administer it. I mean, yeah, it's. I, I guess they could. But so, Wait, did you go? Did you do it online? No, no. Oh, well, that's not. That's it was not the school library. It's not a thing you can do. No, I went. Yes, to, it is. Well, it shouldn't be. Yeah, I, I went to a. I went to an actual Mensa organized event at a local library. It's a sit down <laughs> pa- paper so and cool pencil. guy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, I, hate, I hate learning and being smart. <laughs> yeah. <That> don't yeah. <laughs> 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 but, but, check this out. I have an iPhone. Don't tell the, the me all the same answers. See, I'm, yeah. I'm talking about the, the, the premise here that your psychologist yeah. said, which, by the way, psychologist, total scam, right, Menace? Yeah. Uh, oh, who God. said, hey, you seem really world. smart. Let me spend, let me bill no. you. Let me bill you for three hours yeah. and to sit down with you with a test. That's Well, that's odd. that's one scenario. It's not my scenario. Uh, but goes, that's why I'm, I have questions. Okay. So what, what, what actually happened? So I, so I was talking to my therapist okay. and we were all good. And I was talking about how the fact that I grew up feeling really dumb. I was never in a gifted class because I, I had all kinds of learning problems. But, ever, it, but nobody cared about that stuff back then. It, it, now everyone's so precious. And we talked about it. And she goes, do you want to, do you want me to administer the actual IQ test? Like the, the oh, real one. So she gave you an IQ test, not a Mensa test. Correct. Okay. And then when I got my score, which was shocking well, even to you me. Got a number? You got a number? I do have a number. Um, I looked it up and I said, oh my God, I qualify for a card that isn't that big of a deal and we shouldn't bring up that much. <laughs> what, and what, uh, what, I have my men's acceptance <laughs> letter and I have all of my credentials. And yeah. yeah, She's even got a photocopy of her card that's hanging up above her desk right. in the office. It just sounds like a conflict of interest. Cause but how could it be? Want, no, because it's someone who wants you to feel better. They know that you had, a, like you said, an inferiority but, complex. From right. School. But she's not, it's not subjective. She's adding, she's totaling it. Yeah, I'm not Flowers for Algernon. It's it's an actual I know that book. I shattered that yeah. book out before on I, the show. I'd be, I'd be interested in, a, in an objective third party sure. test. Sure, okay. I'd be very interested. Uh, in uh, say hi to Dawn. Good morning, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Hi, good morning, everybody. It's two big brains battling it out. <laughs> yeah, I heard. Yeah. I am not impressed by people that want to tell me that their dogs have papers. Oh, I have like a you pet. Have pure oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kennel, yeah, American yeah. Kennel Club. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I have a pet care company, and people always want to tell me, and I'm like, you know what? I love that much, just as much as I do that purebred. So I really couldn't care less. Menace, you oh. want, to, want to tell her what's up? Yeah, if it ain't purebred, it ain't right. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so it don't impress me much. <laughs> Your mutt don't impress Menace much. <laughs> yep. Your mutt. Right, yeah. Don, you know where that belongs? Call. The pound. <laughs> thank, thank you, Don. Bye. Maybe we can go home now, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Mensa. If it ain't purebred, it ain't right. Yep. Uh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not impressed when people brag about their kids and how they're in advanced classes, then complain about all the work they have to do. Duh, smart kids have more work. Thank you. Uh, Seven one four people who brag about how much they work. Oh, there you go. You're not hustling. You're getting screwed. Yeah. yeah. Or, or again, you're or you're just running on a treadmill and doing nothing. Yeah. Three one seven says uh, being vegan. Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> 203, I've seen a few of these. Not impressed with your Tesla. At this point, no. No, we're over. No. Now, yeah. so, uh, unless it's, it's a cyber truck. Car. Oh, mm-hmm. then I'm so impressed. impressed. Yeah. And horny. Because <laughs> yeah. they're, the best, they're the best looking vehicles on the road. Oh, they are very slick. It's called the future. Really cool. <laughs> Looks like my kid built it in Roblox. <laughs> yeah, when he was four. Yeah, Roblox, uh, very popular game. People who are in their mid twenties bragging about traveling, but their parents are paying for all the trips. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that that's would good. Rule. Anything that you're bragging about that you didn't pay for yourself. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. this goes for mm-hmm. a lot of influencers too. Mm-hmm. You know, these people uh-huh. go like, oh well, here I am at the, at the whatever. Four season. Amalfi like, Coast. Isn't yeah. It? Nah. Like who cares? Yeah. A lot you of stuff. A lot it. of stuff about uh yeah, not impressed by number of followers that came in. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, people who brag about mm-hmm. not drinking soda. Cool. They brag about that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I don't drink soda. Mm. I'll have a mm. La That's poison. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, people that you know brag about how much they go to the gym. Cool. I don't ever want to hear about the gym, period. And yeah. I know it's played out mm-hmm. to talk about for a reason. I don't want to hear about CrossFit. 
Yeah, none um, of it. Uh, I, I don't hear much uh, about that anymore. Brought that up on the show for well, yeah. You're the first person I've heard mention really? that for a long time. Because the, yeah. the founder of CrossFit, I think he dropped an N bomb or something, and then it's kind of a lot of CrossFit gyms yeah. de affiliated. No I longer see. cool to take a sledgehammer and hit a tire with it. Mm. Got it. Mm. <laughs> to do this, to do yeah. wiggly arms with the ropes. Uh, battle yeah. ropes. Because you're yeah. battling the rope. Yeah. Right. What's something that people constantly brag about that doesn't impress you? That's the topic at hand. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. Hit us up with a text over to 22987. Uh, just another quick note on the battle of the Mensa members. Oh, yeah. Oh. Seabass. I didn't know we were battling. And, um, well, I mean. I'm just, I'm cur- again, I'm not saying Gina's not smart. I'm just, I'm questioning yeah. how this happened. Is it true that Mensa means dumb? In Spanish. Mensa, Spanish. Spanish. But that's, but that's, is that yeah. just a joke or is no, that? No, no, like, it means, really well, Mensa in Latin means table. In Spanish means dumb. But guess which came first, Latin or Spanish, you dumbasses. <laughs> You know, so it's not it's not my fault that whoever created the Spanish language was too stupid to learn how to translate, you know, the means of words. See, yeah. Bess, would you like me to get like a notary involved in this? <laughs> <laughs> we could have. It sounds like he wants it. The psychologist just, swear yeah. on a I'm stack of Bibles. I'm just curious. Yeah. Swear on a stack of DMV. Right. The Woody Show. Oh, good one on. Good one on the text. Good Question, one. what's something that people constantly brag about that doesn't impress you? You've got a podcast. Cool. Right, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. Every a-hole on earth, it seems, has a podcast. All right, buddy. And like 99.8% of them suck. Yeah. And aren't profitable. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Nobody's really making money on podcasts. Outside I mean, there's a very small group of people. Kelsey Brothers, Joe yeah. Rogan, that's about it. No, I'm saying there, there are some Bert. people that, that uh, make uh, some, some money, some decent money from the podcast. Yeah. But like the number of people compared to the number of people who have oh, yeah. a podcast oh. is yeah. like uh, it's a million to one. Yeah, yeah, it's like saying you're you're going to be a an all star athlete or right. a movie star, or yeah. whatever. You're going to win an Oscar, or I'm going to be an influencer. That's how yeah. you make my money. Right. Yeah. So I yeah definitely agree with that Don't one. Don't let them crush your dreams, menace. Oh. Um, <laughs> here's one right. from the text: is uh, name dropping people that they know. Mm. Yeah. Very yeah, common. Not, Brad not, Pitt tells yeah. me that all the time, but not Get even it. famous people. Oh. It's not even like it's just other like oh well kind of yeah. maybe that that kind of goes to your thing oh. about the uh, you know oh, a guy I, owns a restaurant I know the yeah. owner of the restaurant right <laughs> cool. how little they paid attention or tried in school yeah like having, that's a badge of honor having friends who are black or gay or Jewish or whatever oh he helps you make, he helps you make. Yeah, is that a well I think well because I I, I think mm-hmm. it's like it, people feel like it makes them more diverse more diverse cooler. tolerant. It paints them in a way that they okay. find to be flattering. It's like, I only okay, have gay friends. Like, mm-hmm. cool. Uh, awesome. Uh, how many people they've had sex with? Uh, it uh, it can yeah. be pretty cool. Mm. <laughs> for, for women, too, or just men? Well, no, uh, it, no, it, no, it no, has no, to do with degree of, gif- degree of difficulty. <laughs> oh, okay. Is this another slam at Seabass? Not impressed with chubby guys that say they only sleep with sevens and above. He says eight uh, and above. That's yeah, oh, that's a different guy. Well, okay, that, that's about. not a brag. That's saying what I would like to do. Like... I have a friend yeah. I who's they call them hand holders, like girls you'll be willing to see with in public holding hands. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh yeah, this is another good one. This is from the six five seven people that brag about how expensive it is to live in their city. It's not a competition. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you're miserable and you're in an expensive <laughs> town. Is that a good brag? <laughs> well Yeah, people say, Oh, oh a, my rent is this, my because mortgage is this. People like to one up each other on that stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it makes them feel, I think, like, oh well, yeah. they're better off. Yes, uh-huh. I think you're absolutely or, right. And the same is, oh, you think your traffic is bad? Yes. Everybody mm-hmm. lives in a food town. Oh, it's a great yeah. food town. Yeah. Everybody's traffic is the worst. <laughs> yeah. Everything's mm-hmm. super expensive. <laughs> We're getting. We got it. I do love food towns, though. Yeah. Oh, people that brag about how they've never eaten at McDonald's or they don't, they don't, I don't eat fast food. Well, <laughs> I yeah. instantly hate you and I don't want to talk. Uh, <laughs> All right. Right. I'll see myself out. Bye. <laughs> uh, how they got mad. Oh, this one's. Definitely mine. How they got mad and threw their phone against a wall or into a river, impulsively destroying something expensive. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't say it was cool. No. I've done that. Yeah. You know, headphones or that oh, keyboard that keyboard. one time. <laughs> I would yeah. have loved to see that. You've cut uh, cords with scissors. What? Oh, yeah. Well, because I, I was trying to rip the piece of equipment out of the studio. It was in the um, on the on-air studio. Yeah, and and just, they, they, it was just not working, not working. They wouldn't listen. Wouldn't fix, wouldn't fix. I'm like, get this thing out of here. So I went to go rip it out, and uh, the one cord just wouldn't come loose right. from yanking it. So I grabbed the scissors and I cut it, and then I threw it out <laughs> the studio door it. down the hallway. <laughs> That's a power move. We did I was throw so mad. Off the balcony too. That was actually, oh yeah, we that did. That was just for fun. This one says, uh, "How fast and irresponsibly they drive." 
ignorance. Like, I don't understand computers. That's for nerds to worry about. <laughs> or, uh, you know, how amazing your baby is. Uh, That's another one's coming through. Oh, ick. <laughs> when people claim and are proud about how they never read books, that could also be targeted to me. I'm not proud about it. I buy books with the intention of reading right. them. Yeah. And they look nice. I have books. I have f it's not even for how they look. Oh, really? I buy them for no. books. No. <laughs> I buy them because I'm legitimately interested in reading them. It just never And then there they that. sit. Yeah. I have the joy of cooking. Yeah? Yeah. How's that going? It's awesome. Have, have yeah. you for your wife. to it? <laughs> yeah. I your just, wife does you know, that. I just keep it on the table. All right. Well, anyway, thank you, everybody, for your uh, for your feedback on that. Oh, yeah. People that use the word beamer. Oh. What year is this? That's so yeah, right. Oh. I know, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people that brag they've been to Japan. I think that one's at you, Menace. Oh, and okay. and Seabass. We don't brag that we've been to Japan. We say That's that your daily mention of Japan. Go to Japan and learn from it. Right. Yeah. More Woody and Shows next. Hang on. The Woody Show.